Five hours before he is destined to take a giant stride into history, Colonel John H. Glenn Jr. squeezes into his spacesuit. His smiling face belies the ten postponements of his flight that have kept him grounded. This morning, the weather over Cape Canaveral and in the pickup areas is better, and there's an air of optimism as the Colonel walks to the gantry elevator. Carrying his now familiar portable air conditioner, Glenn prepares to go to the 11th deck as clocks point to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The skies are beginning to lighten, and a cool north wind rustles across the Cape. Colonel's date with destiny comes 10 months after the Russians claimed an orbital flight by Yuri Gagarin, and less than a year after Alan Shepard blazed a suborbital trail for the U.S. This is the climax of three years of training. This is the moment when the eyes of the world turn to Cape Canaveral. The Russian orbits were in a thick fog of secrecy. The United States stands or falls in the white-hot glare of worldwide publicity. In the capsule atop the Atlas missile, the Colonel will be strapped to a contoured couch. Once in flight, the Mercury will be tilted so that the astronaut will ride backwards. The seconds tick off as his rendezvous with space approaches. The hatch cover causes a slight delay when a defective bolt is discovered. Then, millions are moved to silent prayer. on the Atlas, blasted off by 360,000 pounds of thrust, carries the Mercury gracefully skyward. The Friendship 7, climbing rapidly out of the Earth's atmosphere, exerts a pressure of six times the force of gravity on the astronaut.